Hello everyone, Dan Higgins here over at Astro World Studios located on Long Island, New York. And first of all, let me start it off with thank you so much for all you guys, you Facebook followers and you YouTube subscribers. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on between the Cosmic Charlie and Declination Dan uh, project and along with the Astro World project. Um, so we have over 110 or so for, uh, so far uh, YouTube uh, subscribers and I believe uh, over 2,000 followers or pretty close uh, on Facebook between the two projects. So thank you so much. Uh, please comment on the videos. If you're a new listener, please subscribe. Please like on Facebook. Uh, we'll have plenty of videos to come. I believe we're hitting close to 50 videos now. And uh, we're, we're doing really, really well. So please subscribe, like, comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for the support. We appreciate it here at Astroworld. The Eagle 3 Pro, to start off with, is a Windows 10 Enterprise computer. Uh, it comes with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a half a terabyte solid state drive, and it's also built on a 2.6, and I believe it's uh, you can max it out at 3.4 gigahertz i5 uh, Intel processor. Uh, so it's you got a lot of computing power there, enough room to keep all your AVIs or, or still photographs, whatever you may be doing. Um, the other thing that it has is it has eight USB ports. So the first thing you got is on this side, you have two 3.0 USB ports. And then you got six more on this side. So you got four 2.0s and another two 3.0. So for your um, super fast uh, CMOS cameras or CCD cameras, Plenty of speed there in order to transfer your photos from your camera to your new Eagle solid state drive. The other great thing about the Eagle is that it broadcasts its own Wi-Fi. So you don't have to worry about hooking it up or, or whatever the case may be. Right here you got two places for Wi-Fi antennas and it's 2.4 or 5, point, uh, uh, 5 gigahertz uh, compatibility. Um, and it broadcasts its own SSID. So you could not only log into it with a Windows computer, but you could log onto it with iOS or Android devices. So that is a great thing. There are no wires going to a computer. It's all done wirelessly, which is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing uh, for us that have bad cable management like myself. <laughs> so um, again, I know this is a very big prelude. The rest of the videos won't be uh, this far in, in front, but I just want to show what the Eagle uh, has to do and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to start talking about power so here we go let's dig right in and get into power the eagle 3 pro has a 12 volt in that can power up to 16 amps and through the advanced power bridge it'll split the 16 amps amongst the seven available power ports the four main ones in the front and the three 12 volts in the back the main power cables come with screw connectors on both sides so they won't come off by accident. Just be careful of the pins and the connectors because they only go in one orientation. So don't force them in, just turn and put them in nice so the pins fit nice and easy, screw on the connector. I use for my power a 30 amp hour bioano battery with Anderson power pole connectors. All I had to do was call up Prime Luce Lab and tell them I wanted the proper Eagle power cable in order to connect to the Anderson power pole connectors. Prima Luce Lab is very specific on what, uh, what voltage requirements are necessary for the Eagle. Super important, never to exceed 13.4 volts or never to go under the 12. My best bet, my answer was to buy this. This is a voltage indicator so it will tell me what my current load is and what my current charge is. So I'll make sure that I will never go under that 12 or overcharge my battery over the 13.4 volts. But God forbid you do go over the 13.4 or go under the 12, each power port comes with a resettable fuse that disconnects itself in case of any under or over voltage. Once you disconnect the power and fix the problem, the fuse will automatically reset itself once it recognizes the correct voltage. 
And after spending all this sorts of money on this lovely piece of, of machinery, that's the last thing you want to do is blow out the fuses in the, in the, uh, in the Eagle. And then all of a sudden you have a, a $2,500 paperweight and now you'll have to send it back to Italy in order to get fixed. So I can't stress enough, uh, get some sort of voltage regulator if you have to, if you don't have a battery that has some sort of voltage regulator inside it and get some sort of monitor so that you can monitor it just in case, you know, I, I, I would hate to blow something up, you know, not that it's going to blow up, but I mean, I would hate to damage something uh, just because of overcharging or undercharging. So remember the, the three 12 volt outputs uh, for your dew heaters. Now those could be totally automated with the addition of another accessory called the Echo. Um, and this is an environmental control unit which will automatically sense when you need the dew heaters through a temperature probe and turn them on and off and get them to the point where you will not have any dew on it automated. It will run the voltage for you. It'll run your dew heaters for you. It's a great addition to the Eagle. Look for that on our other video on accessories um, and that, that's going to be coming up very, very soon. So thank you for watching part one about power and the Eagle 3 Pro. Uh, please stay tuned for part two, which is boot up and network connection for the Eagle Pro. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please comment on the videos. Tell me what you thought. Um, thank you so much. And for now, keep imaging. Keep educating, keep having fun, and I'll see you guys out there. Thank you so much for watching.